Hello, wait, no, okay. I was always fascinated by the topic of happiness because it always seemed to be beyond a lot of people's grasps. We all have our psychological blind spots. For example, skinny people think they're fat, rich people think they're poor, and so on. Even though it might sound crazy, we might be happier than we actually realize. Usually, when people are sad or depressed, they can never pinpoint the source of their depression. This is why the first and most important step on becoming happier is to acknowledge our unhappy moments. It might be scary or terrifying to remember those memories, but the more we look back on them, the more emotional weight we can remove off of our shoulders. In the world we live in today, people feel entitled to happiness. They think they should live in a universe where everything goes according to plan and nothing goes wrong. But Happiness is something that we create. It just takes a bit of willpower. The secret to happiness isn't magic, it's practice. For example, there is a state known as the flow. In this state of mind, a person is fully immersed in activity and is more energetic than usual. Usually, in this process, the task undertaken is met with success, and being successful makes people happy. Other three methods on becoming happier in our daily lives are to be grateful, cultivate optimism, be grateful, cultivate optimism, and eliminate toxic influences in our lives. Then, to implement these three steps in our daily lives, we could start by grabbing a pen and a piece of paper and write down, be grateful to what I have, cultivate a positive attitude towards my daily life, and to be happy of the person I am today. Then, we should put this piece of paper in a place where we'll see it each day, for example, a fridge or a desk. This helps because reading and writing has an immense psychological effect on our brains, which help us remember our goals. Exercising is also a great factor that affects our happiness as well. Exercising is not only good for our health, but it is also good for our body. You could start by choosing an exercise or a sport that we like. For example, this could be football, volleyball, or basketball. And then we should try to implement it and do it more in our lives. We could also do these f activities or sports in our lives with our friends. This helps because socializing has a great factor on our happiness. As human beings, we dream, learn, grow, and work as a part of society. The societies that we're born to and the society that we navigate throughout our lives could shape our personal identities. Identities, yes. This is why as I stated before, it is extremely important to eliminate toxic influences in our lives. For example, for example, if people, for example, if, for example, if we have positive people in our lives, we there is a higher chance of us being positive and fun like them. Whereas, if we have negative people in our lives, there is a higher chance of us being sad, depressed, and negative like them. Even though socializing is an important factor for our happiness, we should also consider the fact that we should keep some self-care to ourselves. To do this, we could read a book or watch a movie in order to cultivate self-care. Don't forget, happiness isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. This is why try implementing these steps in your daily life and see the results. Thank you.